The Nymo's business community has been told to dig in and prepare for the fight of its life, to wage an aggressive attack on the economic slowdown, and to help lead the way turning around BC's economic fortunes. Finance Minister Kevin Falcon delivered that message today, meeting with Mid Island business leaders, telling them we have an uphill battle, so we'd better get started. CTV Scott Cunningham reports. What we've done is we've designed a couple of these displays. Which James McIntyre is enjoying the rewards after taking a huge risk. I purchased two local businesses. It's only been a few months since McIntyre took over as owner of a Nanaimo kitchen design company and a granite distribution center, but he says he's already seeing strong results. The Nanaimo businessman has a message for others in the Harbor City who are still clawing their way back from recession lows. I definitely stepped up to the plate as far as to saying, you know what, I actually believe where things are headed. The opportunity right now as far as purchasers are investing is fantastic. And at that kind of a word, that needs to get out as far as the community is concerned and what they need to do. McIntyre wasn't the only one packing an economic message. The bottom isn't falling any further. Kevin Falcon addressed Nanaimo business leaders today, saying it's time to stage a comeback and we need to go big or go home. That British Columbia is better positioned than I would argue almost any jurisdiction anywhere. It was a call to arms, urging business owners to forget about towering provincial debt and the pain of the recession and push the economy forward. What their government is going to try and do for them is make sure that we market aggressively the British Columbia story in key markets in China, in Asia, in London, in New York. Today's message from the finance minister was no doubt one of of optimism, but he did not sugarcoat the financial state the province is in, facing massive debt and also a long recovery from the HST debacle. There's always concerns, and I think that's why the minister is here, to express that there's concerns globally out there that could impact and affect us, but let's take full advantage of British Columbia's resources and advantages that we do have and make the best of the situation. In Nanaimo, those advantages are a port system willing to diversify away from only lumber and business owners like James ready to answer the minister's call. If you open your eyes, you realize that things are moving in a very positive nature. Either James has his eyes wide open or isn't telling anyone he closes them when looking at economic predictions. Experts say BC won't hit the same highs in 2012 that we did in 2011. If James has anything to do with it, they'll be proven wrong. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, Nanaimo.